Apples, 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 apples. Hello, everybody. Welcome to McNally's uh, Apple Review. I'm trying something a little bit different. I have a sort of a higher quality camera, but it's it's a little bit more temperamental. So today we will be looking at the Brayburn. Now, I'm told by a friend of mine that everybody likes Brayburns, uh, but I don't know if that's particularly true. Uh, it's susceptible to scabs and... Um, Something called uh, Browning Disorder. Oh, they they double labeled this one. That's that's interesting. Um, I guess they really want you to know it's a Brayburn. Uh, so uh, the uh, Browning Disorder is some. They're hard to store these Brayburns, and sometimes they they just turn brown on the inside. And you don't really know until you open up your Apple product whether or not it's brown. Uh, it shouldn't I don't think it affects affects the flavor that much, but. Well, it's kind of gross. Some people have a lot of trouble with that. Um, now, unlike the uh, the last apple I reviewed, the Sweet Tango, uh, anyone can pretty much grow a Brayburn, uh, which means that you can buy the seeds and have your own tree and sell it in a market. But uh, it, it, Sweet Tango, is a, uh, you have to specially apply to the company, and they have to approve you to do it. But the Brayburn is, you You don't have to be a specially approved farm. You just have to be allowed to grow agriculture, and it, away you go. Uh, now, you'll notice from this Brayburn that it's actually greenish undertones and then red on top. And they, they think that a Brayburn uh, might have been the result of crossbreeding a Granny Smith and maybe a Lady Hamilton and... Who knows what else? Uh, so cross-pollination is probably how we got Brayburns. Uh, they're known for an explosion of flavor. Uh, having read that uh, they've got some Granny Smith parentage, I'm expecting something a little bit spicy. So let's open her up. Okay, so here we go. Uh, get this apple going. Uh, this one's kind of resisting the knife. There we go. And make another cut. And it's very crisp. I can tell you that. It compares actually with the Sweet Tango in crispness. Uh, and there we go. Um, a, little, a little amount of juice came out. So the skin wasn't particularly fragrant. Uh, but let's see if the flesh of the apple is fragrant. Let me take a smell. That actually smells a lot better than the Sweet Tango, despite being, uh, you know, a variety that's not strictly controlled. It doesn't smell like a raw pumpkin, which is not generally something people go out of their way to eat. I've I've got friends, of course, but uh, wow, it's actually already starting to brown. So th this does go quick. Let me let me let me find out how it tastes. I'm gonna need to cut forward a bit. I took too big of a bite. Um, all right. So Brayburn, it is sour. It's 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 got notes of Granny Smith. Uh, it's pretty sweet too, but it's it's mostly sour. It's actually pretty tart. Um, as hand apples go, uh, this is this is pretty crisp, and I would actually recommend eating it to people who who want to look for a, a hand apple and they they want to try something that it tastes very bright and fresh. Uh, of course, you might end up with one that's brown on the inside because that's it's just something that happens with these. Um, well. I don't know. I still think you, you're better going for Granny Smith if you want to make pies, but let's look in the inside. Ooh, it's really green in here. Um, and it's kind of got a big cavernous core, so it's it's you can't eat as much of it as a Sweet Tango or, say, a Gala. But uh, 
not a lot in the way of seeds, but it, it's got this hard part that doesn't taste so good. Um, yeah. So I would recommend a uh, Brayburn for a try, and I'm not a fan of Granny Smith's, uh, but I I still think it's um it's a pretty decent apple. So yeah, that's my recommendation. Go out and get yourself a, a Granny um Granny Smith hybrid uh, Brayburn, which pretty good. I mean, I don't, I don't know what else you want to say. It's a it's a fine apple product, and for the price. It's it's pretty decent. I picked this one up for, oh shoot, about the same price as a Red Delicious, and those are about as cheap as you can get usually. Um, so it's it's pretty at a pretty good value, and it, it's just got a, a good amount of pucker, but not too much. Uh, it's it's not quite as bad as a Granny Smith. So I'm gonna say I'm gonna have to agree with my friend. Everybody does like a Gr Braeburn, well at least I do. Uh, so. Thanks for watching uh, another Apple product review. Uh, next time, I'm thinking we're going with Gala. Bye. Apples, 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 apples.